Russia's foreign minister has expressed unease over Washington's military activities in Japan and its planned deployment of missile systems in the country. Sergei Lavrov told his counterpart in Tokyo on Thursday that the build-up represents a direct threat to Moscow. We have reaffirmed our concern about the risks that are being created for our security, including in connection with plans to deploy elements of the U.S. global missile defense system to Japan. There aren't that many countries in this world that can, within the time frame of just a couple of days, welcome the American president and the ministers of foreign affairs and defense of Russia at the same time. Well, Japan is one of these countries, and in fact, President Donald Trump left this place only two days ago. And while he was here, he spoke a lot about how he wants to expand the military cooperation between Washington and Tokyo. As you know, Japan recently announced its intent to purchase 105 brand new stealth F-35 fighter aircraft, the best in the world. This purchase would give Japan the largest fleet of F-35s of any of our allies. Plus, Mr. Trump really made it clear that when it comes to joint army work, he is really counting on Tokyo when it comes to making sure that all the regional threats, as he calls it, are dealt with. And here it is easy to understand who he is hinting at. That is, of course, North Korea in the first place and Russia and China. However, Japan is a real geopolitical gymnast, so to say. And uh, really, there are many outstanding things about how Tokyo is getting along with Moscow. They are doing great when it comes to trade. The leaders are treating each other as friends, but there are disagreements as well. I can tell you that ever since World War II, no peace agreement has been signed between Japan and Russia. And there is a serious territorial dispute. Ever heard of the Coral Islands just to the north of Japan? Well, perhaps everyone in Russia and in this country has. As a result of the Second World War, the countries that won it decided that the islands should become Russian territory. And so they did. However, Tokyo still claims that this land belongs to them. And we've seen many signals from the leaders of the two countries that they want to get this dispute settled. However, the best two words to probably describe the progress here is complete stalemate. Well, just lately, Russia held small shooting drills on the island, and that really outraged Tokyo. Sergei Lavrov, during the press conference, explained why Japan has nothing to be angry about. Japan's foreign minister has expressed concern over Russia's military activities on the southern Kuril Islands. In response, we have reaffirmed our position that the Russian armed forces are operating in their sovereign territory, as is customary under international law. However, as you can see, there are still many serious disagreements, but when it comes to things like cultural exchange or marine security and also the desire to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula, the two countries are on the same page, to say the least. And the fact that the foreign ministers, the defense ministers and the leaders are always in touch speaks volumes about how Tokyo and Moscow are getting along these days.